Hello everybody. Uh, the day before Christmas Eve, festivals. If you're one of those who know what festivals is and you celebrate festivals, happy festivals. To all of you, I'm going to do some special Christmas and whatever season's greetings later on. Uh, but on festivals, which is the 23rd of December, and if you don't know, it is Seinfeld, look it up, it's hilarious. Um, uh, two games stood out for me, and those were the two games that I watched, and I'm still a little bit in the process of watching some NFL. But I wanted to get to those two games, which were in the Primera División, uh, La Liga, um, which was Sevilla playing at Leganes. A very interesting game. First of all, Jersey's Leganes has the white and blue stripes, which are kind of uneven, and Sevilla played in black with the gray shoulders. It's a horrible kit. Uh, honestly, but um, they were playing and after five minutes Leganes gets the goal to make it 1-0 and he actually has quite control of the game. It looks quite well um, for Leganes. Sevilla had some half chances, but it was really not much coming from Sevilla. And what also was interesting, you could see it's really, um, although it is only four o'clock when the game started, the sun was already deep. It was really a winter game, a very surreal uh, light. And maybe the surreal light had something to do that Mercado got sent off. Uh, I think two, um, two yellows. I actually didn't really realize it. I mean, we were packing presents for my family and I just saw him walk off and he reminded me of uh, the father of a girl uh, that my girls going, kin uh, going to kindergarten to. So I said, yeah, he looks like uh, this guy. I think he got two yellows and for uh, protesting, but I don't nail me down on that one. And even during my highlights, the highlights that I watched, I only saw that he got sent off and blah, 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 um, talking a lot. So that's what I assume, but I couldn't hear any, any, anything because my girls at the moment have this ability of continuing to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I don't have ears anymore. <laughs> okay, now uh, let's, um, you know, they're just excited and it's hard to curb the excitement. Back to the game. Well, uh, second half was already dark and there was really nothing coming from Sevilla. Not much anyway. And at that point I didn't watch him. So the second half is all from highlights. And I think Sevilla and uh, both Leganes and Sevilla hit the uh, bar at one point. But this was basically Sevilla's only chance. And then in the 94th, and at that point it wasn't only dark, it was foggy. And the black jerseys, you couldn't see in the fog any anymore. And I'm not sure. I, th I, th I think the field it didn't matter, but uh, it was really weird. And then suddenly the ball is in the net for Sevilla and they're all celebrating. It was actually a beautiful cross in and header. Makes it 1-1. They celebrated like a win. Maybe it was a one point, but uh, in the end now it's Barcelona 37, Atletico Madrid behind and Sevilla is on the... Uh, in third place uh, ahead of Real Madrid, so um, points lost. I saw Valencia also won 2 1 against Huesca, one of the rare wins of Valencia. And so, yeah, I think Spain, last time I called the title race done, uh, or that the two big ones are ahead, then they got into crisis. So I don't want to do that again, but it seems Barcelona is the team to beat and maybe Atletico can come back, but they don't look as convincing as Barcelona. Especially if Messi is on, on good form, I don't see anyone else um, challenging them. But maybe, you know, Atletico Madrid is the peskiest of teams. So yeah, uh, that's Spain. And then the other big game that I was looking forward to, and I actually was happy that I went away from the um, Sevilla game was of course Everton against uh, Spurs and I didn't realize until they played in the derby that Everton actually had a good season so I was looking forward to that game and I also saw that this could be a big game for Spurs because now you know with Liverpool I think is for is 48 points Manchester City is 44 and with a win um, Tottenham could go to 42 points and put some distance between them and Chelsea and Arsenal which are both at 37 points and the game was actually quite, it was really interesting for the first half. Again, I didn't see much, I saw them the highlights again, but um, 
I got a feel for the game and that Everton took an early lead. It was a wonderful combination. Uh, not early, 20th minute. Um, but Tottenham immediately tried to hit back. Didn't do initially, but then um, total miscommunication between Pickford and the defender of Everton. Uh, put the ball right at. I mean, they clashed outside of the box and some got the ball got to Son and he just had to put it into the net. He actually did it quite nicely. I mean, it was a high ball and I thought it might sell over, but no, it went in. 1-1. One, one. Um, a little bit later, Dele Alli, and again, nice calm combination, makes it 2-1. And then after a free kick that bounced off the post, Kane makes it 3-1 right at half time. That result just... 10 15 minutes earlier was a little bit incredible to me, but I honestly have to say I start enjoying uh, watching Tottenham a lot, so I was happy to see that result. So it was 3 1 at halftime, uh, right after the half in the 50th. Um, Ericsson uh, on the rebound, wonderful volley, makes it 4 1. Sigurdsson puts it 4 2. Then, now I need to get my call, I think Son, I think it was in the 60s, 5-2, uh, am I getting it right? Yes, and then Kane uh, at the end makes 6-2, uh, absolute goal fest. I, even when it was 2-4, four, uh, four, um, I never thought at that point that the Tottenham is going to lose that again, but it was very intriguing how well they played and how many goals were scored. So yeah, Tottenham reasserts themselves and gets quite some distance and that's an interesting position that they're in um, so in that sense I'm wearing my Tottenham shirt um, and as you know it's also a uh, right with the Real Madrid shirt that I have around from the same time I really think this is a absolutely beautiful shirt uh, watch the video that I made about it um, I never was the biggest Spurs fan, although and now I, I enjoy them, but this, of all my Premier League jerseys that I have, and there are only four, this is my favorite one. I think it's the best looking one, honestly. Okay, I think there were some Bundesliga games, and Noah Hoffenheim and Mainz made it 1-1. I think that was the only one that I now recall, it, other than that there was not much played. Um, we have now a short Christmas break, and then the Premier League is back on. And also Serie A, I'm gonna be watching the 26th. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's better that I do that instead of watching uh, skiing and so on. Because I'm getting a little bit bored of skiing and ski jumping is also... I will, I'm actually more into ski jumping, but honestly, Austria this time around is not all that good. So, not that much into it. So, I'm gonna stay with soccer and NFL. Maybe I get some watch some NHL games, which is the thing that I have not been watching a lot lately. But you know, on the other side, I gotta say, NHL in the playoffs, that's where it counts. Anyway, let me know about the two games that I've been talking about. What you thought about these? Give me your thoughts, especially fill me in if, if I'm missing any, anything on the Sevilla game. Uh, I think I saw most of the Tottenham game. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel right around here if you want to see more videos like this. Also, um, check out the playlist that I'm posting here that uh, put two related videos and I will talk to you soon. Bye.